unipolar chest leads. These are six unipolar leads that detect the electrical activity of the heart on the horizontal plane. They are attached to the chest at specific sites, which are standardized worldwide. V1, which will be red, on the right, fourth intercostal space parasternal line, just near the sternum, in the fourth intercostal space right side. How we can know the fourth intercostal space? If we know that the angle of Lewis is facing the second rib, so the space between the second rib will be the second intercostal space, and then third intercostal space, and then the fourth intercostal space to the right. So this is V1. On the opposite side, V2 will be in the fourth left intercostal space. Then V3 will be midway between V2 and V4, which is usually on a rib. V4 will be on the fifth intercostal space, left side at the mid clavicular line. Sometimes they are saying roughly it is near the nipple, but to be accurate, it should be in the mid clavicular line at the fifth intercostal space. And then V5 and V6 will be in the fifth intercostal space or on the same horizontal line. But V5 will be in the anterior axillary line and V6 will be in the mid axillary line. So fourth intercostal space right, fourth intercostal space left, midway between V2 and V4. Then V4 will be in the mid clavicular line, fifth intercostal space. And V5 will be in the anterior axillary line at the fifth intercostal space and V6 will be in the mid axillary line at the 5th intercostal space. Regarding the colors, V1, V2, V3 like the traffic signal colors. Red, yellow, green. This is cell. Then V4, because it is near the navel, it will be easy for you to remove it as brown. And then V5, after the brown will be black, and then V6, the last one will be violet. Regarding the attachment of the electrodes on the hands and legs, we have four limbs. That's why it is only four attachment to the limbs. And then the machine will reproduce six leads, which are the limb leads, unipolar and bipolar from these four attachments. It also will be standardized the right hand will be red, so we are starting by red in the limb leads and starting red in the chest leads. Red, then the lower right limb will be black, upper left will be yellow, lower left will be green. To make it easy for you, like the color of dates, it will be green, then sometimes it will be yellow, then sometimes it will be red, and that last will be black, or something like a fire which is red and ends with black dust and a yellow desert that turned out to green. Grooving of the leads. This is very, very important illustration. Fortunately, and thanks for Allah, I made this illustration. It was not in any box before, but it will make it easy for you to understand the grooving of the leads or localization of ischemia and to understand also the electrical axis. As we said before, how did we make this illustration? We are collecting all the 12 leads or all the 12 cameras that are recording the electrical activity of the heart. Lead 1 is looking like that from right to the left and lead 2 and lead 3 and AVF looking down to the foot, AVL to the left, AVR to the right and also we put here the chest leads. V1, V2, this is the midline, V1 and V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. From this illustration, if I told you or I asked you, what are the leads that are recording the ferro surface of the heart? It, it will be very easy for you to say leads that are looking inferiorly are the leads recording the inferior surface of the heart. So lead 2, lead 3 and AVF. Looking down to the inferior wall, of the heart, so any changes that will be found in these leads will be happening on the inferior surface of the heart. And again, if I ask you what are the lateral leads that are recording the changes in the lateral surface of the heart, 
it will be easy again for you to say it is 1 and AVL and V5 and V6 and also here we can say 1 and 2 recording the septum 3 and 4 and talking about V3 V4 recording the anterior surface of the heart and V5 and V6 included in the lateral surface of the heart that's why sometimes we can hear the cardiologist saying that this patient has inferior wall infarction or massive anterior ischemia or septal infarction thus ischemic changes that appear in leads corresponding to the inferior surface of the heart means inferior ischemia and so on by looking to the figure above we can see the 12 leads by their arrows directed to the sites they are recording so we can find that 2, 3, AVF are looking inferiorly so they are called inferior leads thus for example inverted T waves if I tell you inverted T wave means ischemia if inverted T wave is present in 2, 3 and AVF this means inferior ischemia and so on the grouping again 1 AVL V5 and V6 as we said before these are the lateral leads if it is only confined to 1 and AVL this will be the high lateral leads sometimes we can find ST segment elevation or ischemia confined only to 1 and AVL this will be high lateral leads or high lateral ischemia or infarction according to the case if the change is affecting V1 to V6 this are called the anterior leads from V1 to V2 only they are according to the septum V3 and V4 strictly anterior leads V6 and V5 the lateral leads because the chest is not flat it is rounded and the leads or the electrodes are wrapping around the chest that's why most of them are recording the LV the left ventricle rather than recording the anterior surface only the normal ECG we must know that if the wave of depolarization is directed towards the positive ball of the lead it will appear as positive deflection so lead 1 is directed like that from the right to the left if the wave of electrical activity is directed the same way from the left from the right to the left it will be recorded by lead 1 as positive wave if the reverse happened that the electrical activity is running from the left to the right it will be recorded as negative wave this we are talking about lead one if the electrical activity is directed perpendicular to the lead it will be recorded as biphasic wave that's why AVR is mostly negative and most of the electrical waves in AVR will be inverted or the reverse of lead two B wave in most leads is positive as far the impulse is originating from the SA node but if the impulse is originating from the AV node or from the ventricles it will appear as negative because AVR is directed like that if we went back AVR is directed like that so the impulse is usually directed from the SA node then the atria then the AV node then the LV so the net result of electrical activity is going down as we will know later from the electrical axis but AVR is recording totally the reverse so the net electrical axis of the heart is the opposite of lead AVR that's why most of the waves in AVR are inverted it is the reverse of what is happening lead 2 which is going almost the same way of the electrical axis of the heart